now we will talk about question number fourth so what is question number fourth what will happen if we go go on cutting trees or no not again just now we have discussed this thing so we all we go on cutting trees so oh my god a if we go on cutting trees then what will happen the biodiversity will get disturbed isn't it see the if we go on cutting trees that means trees are getting uh, coming to an end we are uh, the number of trees will become less that is definitely will be uh, it will definitely it is going to affect the animals their habitat will be destroyed and all other things whichever we have discussed everything i won't discuss this thing now again because we have already done this uh, so many a times isn't it so a uh, if you go on cutting trees i'll just write uh, balance of nature will disturb balance of nature will disturb so as the plants and the animals they, they have a strong relationship uh, they depend on each other and so both will be uh, disturbed their numbers will uh, become less and each and everything other than this what we have written before in this uh, before uh, in the which answer not answer number third everything you can write over here so balance of nature will get disturbed biodiversity will be affected will be affected and all other points now come to the b1 the habitat of an animal is disturbed my god now if the animal uh, animal's habitat is disturbed the same thing just now we have discussed this thing so i will not discuss now the top layer of the soil is exposed if the top layer of the soil is exposed it will give to the desertification so a i'll just write a point in b why they are asking the same question again again in this you know the same thing is going to be there the habitat of an animal is this of that means what will happen the the food and everything will be uh, reduced isn't it just now we have discussed so uh, same points now c is the top layer of soil is exposed so what will happen if the top layer of the soil will is exposed that means the soil will get washed away with the uh, wind or rain and the desertification will takes place that means that particular soil will that area will get converted into like in a rocky layer will come out the fertility will decrease fertility of soil will decrease the fertility of soil will decrease desertification will takes place desertification will takes place so this one is c and now this question is over now we'll come to the question number 5 this was answer number 4 and now we will be discussing answer number 5 so question number 4 is answer in brief why should we conserve biodiversity oh my god just now we have discussed that biodiversity means what the animals and plants the difference in plants and animals variety of plants and animals all forms of life which exist on the surface of the earth is biodiversity is it it so first of all we'll write the definition all forms of life which exist on the surface of the earth is biodiversity and why do we need to protect biodiversity because the plants and animals are interdependent they depend on each other for their existence and so so what will happen if the uh, what is the question 
yeah so if the biodiversity is not maintained again the balance of the nature will be disturbed so you know this time ncrd has given in this lesson the almost the same questions which uh, almost the same answers will be there one or two odd sentences will be changing so first of all we'll define biodiversity all forms of life present on the all forms of life which is present on the surface of earth is called biodiversity and plants depend plants and animals depends on each other and so need to protect biodiversity see again again i am telling this once again i'll tell that i am not writing the answers in detail many a times i'm not writing this sentence you know complete i do not write complete sentence i write only keywords or some important words so you need to write more uh, because in the exams one question won't be asked again again so you need to do all the detailings but as we are uh, we have discussed and we are discussing the same point again again because the same type of question is asked so i am not doing the much of detailing over here now fifth this one was a now b of fifth so the question is protected forests are also not completely safe for wild animals why uh, actually the problem is that in india the laws are made but the laws are not very strict until unless the good punishment is not given to the people it won't set a good example people are not scared of the laws because uh, the proper action is not taken ala uh, for the person who is corrupted still uh, what is the question uh, why it is so why the protected areas are also not protected because the people who live nearby the people who live in nearby areas they uh, you know fulfill their needs from the forest forest only they get uh, get their food fodder and you know they collect that uh, the wood and so many things that means they interfere uh, there their their interference is there and that hampers the uh, protection of the uh, such kind of protected areas and then on the top of that illegal hunting is no doubt going on so until unless the illegal hunting and the cutting of trees cutting of trees is uh, not kept at under the check this protection uh, areas are also not totally protected because first of all the laws are not very strong so laws are not very strict and people staying nearby complete or fulfill their needs from forest and illegal hunting is also the reason so uh because of illegal hunting 
and the uh, you know the laws are not strict and the nearby areas they complete they fulfill their needs from the forest and that is the reason even the protected areas are not so much protected in India. Now we will talk about see it is not only about India children in all the countries one or the other way the laws are broken. Now uh, some tribal depends on the jungle how. So, we know how tribals depend they get their food fodder they collect the woods and even for the medication they depend on the uh, forest area only. So, they get their food fodder then for medicine. So, uh, tribal area what they do? They do not go to the doctors if they suffer from anything. They either use the herbs or they use the part of the animals. So, for that also they depend upon them. So, food, fodder, medicine, shelter that means even for making houses uh, they will use the straw and the things which are naturally found in the forest. So, tribals have very strong bond, bonding and the relationship with the forest and they totally depend upon, upon the forest and uh, for grazing uh, their animals you know for uh, for the purpose of the uh, fodder I have written over there. So, in this way the tribals totally depend upon the forest you need to uh, write in detail. Now, we will talk about the D1 what are the causes and consequences of deforestation oh my god this I cannot tolerate now. Now, what are the causes and consequences of deforestation causes we will discuss consequences we won't discuss now because from the beginning of the NCRT question number 1 we are discussing the consequences of the deforestation. So, if we talk about the causes of deforestation causes of deforestation if we talk about then definitely we can have a look that why the forests are being cut forests are cut for the sake of urbanization is not it to make to convert that particular part into uh, either the dam has to be constructed buildings bridges and so construction work or I can say for urbanization for urbanization. It includes many things construction of dams bridges uh, you know buildings and all such kind of things. Then deforestation is also done uh, for the firewood for uh, you know for selling the wood on the greater cost. So, for uh, to sell wood like timber So, all these are reason in urbanization lot of things will come like for construction of dam, bridges, then uh, roads, railways, railway tracks, yes buildings and so many things will come over here. So, and even for the construction of houses. So, all these are the reasons why the deforestation is done. Now, uh, consequences we all know. Now, we will move to the next one E what is red data book. Now, we will talk about red data book. So, what is red data book it is uh, you know released by IUCN International Union of uh, Conservation of uh, International Union of Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources and uh, in this red data book a uh, list is a uh, precise list is uh, released which includes the name of the endangered plants and animals is not it. It includes it includes list of endangered plants 
plants and animals. So in 1991 first edition was released and in 1994 the second edition was released. Now what do you understand by the term migration? So this one is if and migration uh, what is the meaning of migration? The mass movement of the birds and the animals in search of food shelter maybe due to the climatic changes and they are returning back. They are coming back is known as migration. So, what is migration? The mass movement of the birds and animals the mass movement of the birds and animals in search of food shelter or due to the climatic changes. I am writing in short there is no change, uh, there is no change, there is no place and the returning back. So, this one is about the migration and this one is the question number fifth uh, f f of the question number fifth. Now, definitely we are going to move to the next question and now we will be on the question number six. So, please note all these points and then we will be discussing the question number uh, six. Please note these points. Now, we will talk about answer number 6 and definitely now we would not be talking anything about you know related uh, to the consequences of uh, deforestation. Uh, now, question number 6 is in order to meet the ever increasing demand in factories and for shelter trees are being continually <laughs> continuously cut. Is it satisfied again that deforestation is here? Is it justified to cut trees for such projects discuss and prepare a brief report? So, no this is not at all justify one should not cut the trees, trees should not be cut and uh, please give your own reasons and along with the reasons which is given and discussed in the previous answers. So, I am not discussing question number 6. Now, we will come to the next question and this is question number 7. How can you contribute to the maintenance of green wealth of your locality? make a list of actions to be taken by you. Now, this is taken by you that means you need to do it, but still we will talk a bit about this. They are asking about how can you make the area around your place, your house, your school whatever, if you want like uh, area should be converted into green. So, they are asking how can you convert the area into a green area. So, what has to be done or if we talk about uh, they are also asking the contribution to maintain you know your contribution towards the environment. So, the best way is what afforestation need to plant trees need to take care of the trees which are already grown and uh, to spread awareness to stop one from cutting the trees. So, this is answer number 7. And uh, here we need to talk about the steps which you can take. So, definitely you will be writing from your own side also and I am talking I will be discussing one or two uh, odd points. So, uh, plantation should be done and I am writing only the words plantation should be done and the good care of the uh, plants after growing that means after plantation the care should also be taken of the plants. So, care of the plants ok care of the plants has to be taken afforestation should be done then deforestation should stop or should spread awareness.
regarding usefulness of trees and effects or effects of deforestation and if you see someone uh, cutting the trees you should also stop them so should stop others from cutting trees so we need to stop others from cutting trees these all points are there which comes in my mind as soon as this question is asked that what one can do uh, on your level so uh, you can please add your own points also now we'll come to the question number 8 explain how deforestation leads to re reduce rainfall it is again about the deforestation and so we will not be discussing this i will talk about uh, uh, you know think that uh, if the trees won't be there the carb uh, carbon dioxide will increase temperature will increase and so the uh, water level the water cycle will disturb will be disturbed and the transpiration rate will also be very low so all these factors will influence the water cycle now we'll come to the question number 9 find out about national parks in your state uh, definitely this is your work i do not know to which state you belong to now question number 10 why should paper be saved prepare a list of ways by which you can save paper now why one should save the paper because we know we have read we have studied that for making Uh, paper lot of trees has to be cut a long full grown uh, huge trees has to be cut to make the papers uh, so why to waste papers and what are the ways in which we can use the papers or we can save a paper so first of all we are talking about answer number 10 answer number 10 and the question is why should paper be saved so paper will paper should be saved because papers are made from the trees papers are made or to make the paper the trees has to be cut so papers are made from the trees so one need to i am writing very you know small points keywords please frame this into the sentences so paper are made from the trees and so we need to save the uh, um, papers and how can we save paper by using uh, use of recycled paper so definitely it is going to save many trees then use you know uh, remember gandhi ji uh, gandhi ji always used to use even the scrap of the paper even the inch of a paper he never used to waste so use paper wisely both sides of the paper should be used both sides of the paper should be used and paper should not be wasted and all these kind of things you know so in this way uh, we can save papers and definitely we can save the trees also okay now question number 11th is complete the word uh, word word puzzle word puzzle i'm so sorry <laughs> complete the puzzle now see uh always what we do we complete the puzzle in the form we take the puzzle in the uh, one word answer sort of a thing isn't it so i will write over here question number 11 and that is one word answer so first is species on the verge of extinction 
species on the verge of extinction just now we have read it is known as endangered species so so species on the verge of extinction is known as endangered species now a second a book carrying information about endangered species so a book which carries the information about the endangered species is red data book we know that so it is red data book now third one third is uh, it is given in across species found only in a particular habitat endemic we know this the species if it is found in only particular region that only only that part it is known as endemic species now fourth one variety of plants animals and microorganisms found in an area definitely it is known as biodiversity so it is biodiversity come to the fifth one consequences of deforestation now, this one you know definitely i won't be writing fifth one because you all know there are many consequences of deforestation but when we talk about the puzzle definitely then you sort it out and please write it so this was about the one word answer and fifth as it they are asking about again the effects of the deforestation which we have discussed you know more than enough Mm, so we won't be discussing that again. So this, uh, all these uh, were the questions taken from the NCERT, and definitely we'll be solving few more questions so that your concepts can become more clearer. So that's all for this uh, chapter from NCERT. Thank you.